my personal opinion, when it comes down to the Malinois and how they're utilized, I like what they do, but I feel as if those animals are in the hands of the wrong individuals. Basically, those are working animals, and those animals go to people who can afford a working animal. But they're in an environment where their abilities are usually, 80% of the time, not ever utilized. The people who can afford a Malinois, they usually live in an environment or an area where the Malinois' abilities are mute or null and void because the type of threat that will come to someone won't happen in their environment. And the people who have those animals, they don't go to the environment where that type of threat will occur. I'm saying that this animal that is bred and trained to protect, once it leaves its environment, it goes to another environment that can afford it. It no longer is doing what it was bred and trained to do. Unless they have a budget for that animal to go be with somebody to actually know do what it was made to do, that animal is most likely is just coming back to somebody else's home and is always wired up but doesn't never get to do anything. I see people who own them dogs and those dogs aren't being utilized. I see them the same way as I see like an old white lady that has a chihuahua and they just feed the dog. And now the dog is just like a damn hot dog with legs on it. It's completely fat with legs on it. That's how I see people who have a Malinois or have a working animal that's made and bred to do something specific and they take it out that environment and put it into their environment and no longer do anything with that animal. Because me personally, I feel the people who actually need those dogs, they can't afford them. Now, don't get it twisted. I don't want for you to bring the price of them dogs down so that anybody can afford it. We don't want that shit to happen at all because the last thing I want to see is them damn dogs running loose in the streets because anybody can get them. That's the last thing I want to see. But I do want to emphasize that, let's say somebody trying to rob you. Anybody who has a dog and they're in a high crime environment, the dog initially that's there can deter maybe like 50% of a crime that's happening. If they see that you have a dog, 50% of that threat is going to be gone because nobody want to deal with an animal that'll bite them. Now, let's just say that out of that 50%, 30% decide, you know what, I don't care they got a dog. I'm finna go on and engage. If 30% can see that they still want to engage with you and take what you have, if that dog is willing to engage in an altercation with the human and that threat can see that this dog is willing to attack them, out of that 30% who decided that they was going to still attack you, once they see that that dog is willing to bite and attack them, you have immediately cut that 30% down to maybe 10% of the people who are willing to actually still engage with you, knowing you got a dog that'll bite. Now, them 10% who still want to come at you, knowing you got a dog that'll bite, I'm going to be real with you. You better have a pistol on your ass. If they ain't caring about getting bit by a dog, they really ain't giving a shit about nothing. So you better get the strap and go on and put some iron in their ass. That's just me personally. But I say all of that because the people who need those animals, they can't afford them. And the people who those animals could actually do some good for are in an environment where they need it, they can't afford it still. And so when the people who can't afford them dogs get them dogs, they're not doing nothing with them dogs. Those dogs don't do anything anymore. They're just, they're just something to show off. They're not nothing that people actually use because, let's face it, man, people who actually have those dogs, they won't ever be put in a situation where them dogs' special abilities will be utilized. They won't ever be put in them situations because they're not even in the environment where their type of situation would occur. I feel as if those animals are being underserved into the community of people that actually need them. Unfortunately, the people who actually need them, they cannot afford them. And, and I feel personally, it's a good problem to have because the last thing I want is to be able to see a damn near well-trained or half-ass trained Malinois running loose in the city, whooping people asses because the owner don't know this dog done got loose. That's the last damn thing I want to see.
because them dogs is made for beating ass. That is the main breed right now that is made to whoop people's asses. And the last thing I want to do is to see someone who is a negligent owner get that damn dog and that dog decides to do what he want to do without the owner knowing and we can have it on somebody block or even worse, somebody neighborhood. I'm just giving my opinion about what I feel those animals can do and how they're not being utilized correctly. Even though it's not their fault, but I do feel those animals could be better served in an environment where they're needed to where they can do what they are made to do a lot more better than what they are right now. But it's a good problem to have because I don't have the solutions. It's your boy Nick Love and K9 Pro C, man. I'm gonna holler at you boys later. Peace out. <laughs>